السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله العالمين الصلاة والسلام على شرف الأمي والمسلين وعلى أني وصبي أجمعين أما بعد We praise Allah for all the blessings and bounties that He continuously grant upon us especially when He gave us this opportunity to enter the blessed month of Ramadan and the important connection of this month is within the scope of relationship with the Quran itself so one of the things that we have to do is, is to always refresh and reconnect with his words with all his sayings and all things the messages being mentioned inside the book and the and reading it is already uh, another le a level of uh, reward that we will continue to gain but another level that we always uh, need to be aware of as among the objectives of the Quran is for us to understand and comprehend and contemplate to be able to portray it in our daily life in our action in our attitude Allah mentioned kitabun anzalnahu mubarakun mubarakan yadabbaru ayati uh, the book uh, that we have sent it down to, and it is blessed okay, for the sake of uh, people to uh, to contemplate to understand to ponder upon its meanings okay, and it is for those who have a good and sound mind to uh, to get reminders okay, to be reminded of all the things being mentioned inside the book and one of the aspects uh, that is uh, greatly emphasized inside the book is the aspect of knowledge the aspect of knowledge so Allah mentions saying here فَإِنْ لَهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا لَعِلْمَ درجات. Allah increases the position of those who believe amongst you and those who are given knowledge and one of the uh, location of uh, a story where Allah highlighted the importance of seeking knowledge from the story of Musa and Al-Khadir in Surah Al-Kahf in Surah Al-Kahf uh, even though in, in that Surah the, word, the name Al-Khadir wasn't mentioned and then it begins directly at the point where the journey in search for Al-Khadir uh, begins already uh, the Prophet Sallallahu actually highlighted uh, the cause on what happened before uh, Musa started his journey in search for Al-Khadir or Al-Khadir so as narrated by Bukhari and Muslim Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned that uh, Musa was in front, uh, giving his sermon, giving his reminders towards his people, where all of a sudden one of his people raised and asked him a question: Who is the most knowledgeable person? And the Prophet Musa alaihi salam responded, "I am." Responded, "I am," and Allah reprimanded. Uh, his answer okay his action his response and then say to him that uh, you're supposed to ascribe uh, the knowledge to Allah to him so and then Allah told Musa that there is a man okay that uh, that is currently at a position a specific position okay at the place where two seas meet each other uh, which are uh, whom are better than you are whom are more knowledgeable than you are and what's unique about this position uh, the way that Asadi mentioned in his tafsir where Musa actually left his people okay without thinking too much meaning without any uh, like you know I'll wait for a few days okay after we deal and leave out sort out things here and then only he left but the way that uh, the prophet mentioned the story at the beginning of the all this prophet musa was eager 
to fulfill the need to seek knowledge okay when allah clarified to him when allah clarified to him that there is someone who knows better than you are who knows more than you are while the fact that he is a messenger he is a rasul among ulil azmi okay that faces that receives um, revelation directly from allah so in fact we can say that he is the most knowledgeable person but when allah revealed down the, uh, the information that there is someone who knows better than you are then he was able to humble himself and quickly put the effort in order to seek knowledge in order to seek knowledge to travel to go far to put extra miles in order to gain the knowledge to search for people who have the skills the ability okay uh, that that is profound in and in the field okay in order for us to get the benefit and to understand whatever that has been uh, granted upon the person so uh, meaning moving forward moving forward what happened was that Musa and his partner okay uh, which in the hadith the prophet mentioned by the name of Yusha bin Nun and they were actually uh, able to reach the per, the place where the two seas meet and unknowingly uh, the fish that they were supposed to, uh, to be seeing as a sign where if the fish ended up lost meaning you are not able to see the fish anymore meaning it went outside of the uh, the bucket that they used so that should be the place where they will be meeting uh, al khadir or al khidir so unfortunately when they were asleep at the rock that was supposed to be the position where they will be meeting uh, al khidir and they didn't realize what happened to the fish and the next day they just went on moving along the shore okay until they ended up uh, moving far okay and exhausted and by then uh, Musa told his partner okay and saying Atina Gada Anna Lakat Lakina Min Safarina Hada Nasaba. Okay, bring us our food, the fish itself. Okay, it seems like we have been so exhausted because of this journey. And only by then the partner, the helper of uh, Musa, Yusha mentioned that uh, as if saying that, you know, uh, I forgot to mention to you that the fish has already left the bucket when we were asleep okay we were resting at the rock uh, days before a day before so uh, Musa actually uh, responded okay in the sense that he was able to grasp the idea that he made a mistake and upon making mistake upon making mistake he was able to be patient and told his partner and that is the place where we're supposed to go okay and then they went back tracing their footsteps okay to that place again and in this point uh, Sheikh Saadi in his tafsir highlighted another important value when it comes to seeking knowledge when you know that you're supposed to be sincere okay in seeking knowledge in order to improve yourself in order to improve your deeds in order to spread the benefits upon mankind and when there are times that we lose this focus and we ended up focusing on trivial things other than what it, that what it was supposed to mean then you will end it up you will end up feeling tired feeling exhausted instead of focusing on studying focus on 
something else okay on other uh, matters that were supposed to be and maybe in in, in some uh, from some perspective we can say that uh, if you are busy with some of the matters with uh, society so with uh, other activities outside business or anything okay as long as you are able to you know put it in a certain level of priority that is still below what you're supposed to be doing that is studying then that it should it shouldn't be uh, disturbing your focus but when you end up okay when someone ended up uh, taking all these other matters as the highest priority by spending most of the time for the sake of business by spending most of the time for the sake of meeting and organizing events and everything then one will realize at some point that they will end up feeling so exhausted so tired okay and and then it will end up affecting their own performance when it comes to seeking knowledge when it comes to seeking knowledge why because knowledge seems to always be in the state of like uh, like something that you cannot you cannot you cannot take your attention out of it so if you start focusing on something else then it will not give itself to you knowledge will not surrender itself to someone who will not give their best focus uh, upon seeking it so this is something that the religion always tries to highlight okay to the point that there are verses that even talks about if there is walaula nafara min kulli firqatin ta'ifa liyatafaqahu fi ad-din wal yundiru qaumahum idha raja'u ilayhim why is it not that uh, should, there should be a group among those who are going to the warfare for jihad there should be a group that stays to seek knowledge to understand better about Islam so that when those people who went uh, for jihad who went to the warfare coming back and they will have people who give them reminders so as if uh, in another sense Allah is Allah is giving a, a hint to us on how important it is to put extra attention and focus in order to seek knowledge in order to understand all the basic needs all the information being highlighted especially when it comes to our relationship with the book with the Quran itself when there are so many messages when there are so many informations when there are so many important things being highlighted in order to guide us okay and that's why Allah keeps on highlighting the attributes the function the objectives of the Quran especially when he introduced the month of Ramadan in in his book Shahr Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran hudan lin-nas wa bayyinatin min al-huda wal furqan the month of Ramadan where was uh, it was sent down the Quran was sent down in it as guidance for mankind and also as explanation okay configuring out uh, between what is right and what is wrong and what is really a guidance so and we have so many other locations in the Quran where Allah talks about how Quran becomes an explanation tibyanan li kulli shay'in and all how the Quran is a message to all hada balagun linnas and showing that this book was supposed to be a part of our life okay and Allah highlighted the importance of this book as nur as nur and and inside it there are lights that will help to light up ourselves light up our soul Okay, especially in this blessed month and especially when we reach the final 10 nights inshallah that we will end up being uh, facing a 
okay the the, the most virtuous knight okay which is uh, significant to the revelation of the Quran itself as Allah mentioned in the Quran inna anzalna hu fi laylatil qadri okay before we talk about the virtues of the night of whatever that we do will be granted with a, uh, a reward that is uh, the same with a thousand nights before that even before that Allah started first talking about the revelation of the Quran in that night or on that night inna anzalna hu fi laylatil qadr so never uh, never you know ignore uh, the main important point when it comes to this month that is to always refresh to always reconnect to improve our relationship with the Quran even though we might never been reading it or we might have been neglecting it so the past is the past what we are supposed to be doing is to have hope and really look at it in a new way of seeing it and never see the Quran as a burden okay despite it being in a, a different language okay this is the only book where just reading it you already get a lot of rewards and what more when it comes to you and each and every one of us trying our best to understand every letters every word every paragraphs every surah and all of that will inshallah bring us to more light and understand better about whatever that Allah has sent down and this will never stop until the day of judgment and I guess uh, hopefully we will continue to pray that Allah will grant us the opportunity to continue the discovery the journey on discovering the Quran okay to always make us uh, being able to mix up with uh, people who love the Quran okay, to always being exposed to the understanding of the book and we pray that by the end Allah will consider and accept all of that as good deeds on the day of judgment uh, with that uh, we stop aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah aladhim li wa lakum subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you very much